we're going to talk about uh, drift watch. Um, that is uh, underneath the uh, umbrella of field watch. Field watch was developed back in 2012 by Purdue University in cooperation with some other ag groups to be a system for applicators and specialty crop producers to communicate and share information um, to make sure that producers had an ability to know where these specialty crops were, where grapes were, where commercial tomatoes, where beehives, things like that, and, and to be able to connect those. Um, there are four different aspects underneath the umbrella of field watch. It's drift watch, um, that is for your uh, specialty crop producers. Bee check is for your um, bee um, producers. They don't have to be commercial to be in bee check. They can simply be um, in private individuals, but most of the, these others need to be commercial folks. Uh, new, relatively new is crop check for those that are producing non-dicamba soybeans, um, organic type uh, crops, row crops. And then field check is for the um, applicators uh, to take all the other three um, in one place to go check and see what kind of specialty crops be uh, things or, or row crops that are not are sensitive uh, to some of your treatments. Um, so the pre presentation, we're going to talk a little bit about what Drift Watch is. We're going to talk about what's new. We'll talk about how to get you registered um, to register as an applicator or especially crop. And then how do you get signs to put up your signs? Uh, the mission of this, uh, again, is to develop that communications and awareness um, between producers uh, and, um, and applicators. Um, back in 2012, we probably did not have an idea of how serious this communication would be. Um, as we know, uh, this past summer, um, the dicamba products, some of those were, were pulled um, to be able to use those after a given date. Um, and some of those are still up in the air. Um, but uh, I know the state chemist in Indiana has, has doubled their complaints and even that doubling, a lot of those numbers are, are those dicamba problems. Uh, the dicamba products, the labels actually require you to go to a site and to know what your surrounding crops are, what your adjacent neighbor's crops are. So this is one of those, those pro products that was developed uh, and the need has just increased and, and become even more important as more and more labels are requiring you to know what's going on around you. Um, so why drift watch? Well, drifts can be very, very expensive. Um, you know, replacing crops, uh, replacing specialty crops, um, you know, re replacing the loss from, from organic, um, you know, products can be very, very expensive. The uh, equine encephalitis outbreak that happened in 2019 in some counties, drift watch producers were protected because the, the companies that went out and treated for these mosquitoes actually downloaded those maps and were able to avoid the bees and the specialty product um, produced products that could have been affected by those, those sprays. Um, again, some labels require applicators to do these checks. Uh, before they make the applications. And there are crops out there um, that are $10,000 an acre to replace. Um, so uh, knowing what your, your neighbors are growing, bees, organics, um, susceptible crops and things like that um, are very, very important and probably more important today than maybe they, even they were when this was developed. So what's new? Um, some of the DNR um, have some areas that the state owns that uh, border agricultural areas. They've, they've added approximately 33 sites uh, in 2020 that are sensitive areas and they may be sensitive areas because of things that are growing there or possibly sensitive wildlife or species of, of animals. And then hemp uh, is going to be licensed this year uh, for production in Indiana and so they're able to add as a drop down industrial hemp. So uh, you'll be able to determine where a neighbor might actually be growing hemp as a product. Um, field check and bee check are two new uh, app, apps uh, for mobile use. Um, and uh, the field check is for applicators and growers. 
and it is a free Android or Apple um, download. And B Check is for beekeepers, and that also is a free Apple or or Android download system. So you actually have access to these these uh, on your de remote devices and not just back in the office. Um, crop Check is new, was new in 2019. <clears throat> it allows the row crop folks to register their row crops, organic row crops, uh, non-susceptible soybeans, things like that. Um, so um, that allows the row crop person a place to put those row crops. And before we were having some row crop people that were concerned about their area being sensitive and they wanted to put those on drift watch and some of those and, and now they have their own place for, the, for those crops to be put. Uh, Membership and field watch can allow organizations, uh, large companies, uh, to download or actually stream um, the products and sites across um, their application systems uh, so that all applicators in the field have access to this information. And those same applicators can actually use this now to put annotations on there, like this neighbor has a a, a, you know, a sensitive area, uh, a wellhead very close to the line, or, um, you know, hey, th this person um, wants to know when we're pulling into the field so they can, they can leave because they're real sensitive to smelling products like 2,4-D and things like that, and it causes problems. So they could actually put a phone number on there, contact this person before you spray this field. So, so that's kind of new. Um, this year in the system. So if you look at a state view, you do not have to really log in um, to, to view the state view. It's just a whole lot of the little bubbles, the pins that are dropped down in, in, in Google Earth. And uh, you can actually simply go to one of those, those pins, click on it, and when you click on it, um, it'll give you the, uh, <clears throat> the specialty crop area. It'll give you the producer's name, the company, It'll give you an email address to contact. It'll, it'll have a phone number, and then it'll give you some special notes, what kind of crops are there, what the specialty area is, you know, what, what the concern is in that bubble. So that's one way to do that. Or you can actually go in here and search by address. So if you know the address of the local field and you want to know what's around that area, you can get a more zoomed in view that way. How do you sign up? It's free to sign up uh, for Driftwatch. Um, Drift Watch again is for the specialty producers. Um, bee, bee Check is for those that are raising bees. Crop Check is for those that are um, row crop, sensitive type row crops. And then the Field Check is for the applicator themselves. So to register, you simply go to the, <clears throat> the site um, and create a sign up for an account. And, and it's about the same way as you sign up for any other internet account, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you're going to put in or select a username. You're going to need to select a password and then re-enter your password. Um, it also asks for an email, and there is a, a no email at driftwatch.org for those who do not have an email. Uh, so they do give you a, a, an email that you can put in if you don't have an email, so you can go ahead and get your, your um, login set up. The next page is simply going to be your contact information, and it's the same for producers and applicators. So you're going to go in and put in name, address, phone number, street, um, town, you know, those types of things. Um, you can actually put your commercial pesticide applicator license number on there if you want to as an applicator, so you'll have access to that on your remote devices. So as you sign up as an applicator, you can, you can put what kind of notices you want. Do you want the entire state? Do you want select counties? Do you want select parts of those counties that, to give you notifications as things change? Because each spring, those row crops, especially row crops, um, the, the location of bees and beehives may change. So if somebody moves a bee, set of beehives into an area that you're producing in, you can click that, that you want that notification sent to you uh, so that you get an update, hey, something just came into the area that you're, that's, that you're interested in. Um, and then uh, you're going to log in um, to that site. 
You're going to submit a new site button. You click on a new site button. When you do that, it'll come up and you'll enter the crop information into that, what, what uh, crop year you're doing, uh, what's your site, your state site or province, um, what your crop type is. You'll fill out the crop information. The next thing is you'll go to begin a tracing button, and this is a Google Earth you know, type of product. So when you hit that begin tracing button, you're simply gonna trace your field. You're gonna draw the border around that field. You're gonna hit submit. When you hit submit, it brings up some additional resources, frequently asked questions and things like that that, that, that you can attach to that. Um, so this is, this, if you need more help, you can go to this site uh, to, to, to hit go and it'll, it'll give you more information of how to fill those sites out. So the, the registration is, is very straightforward and very simple to do. So once you get registered, uh, and you register your sites uh, and you can log in. Once you log in, you have an ability to then purchase your signs. Um, they have the beehive signs, the specialty crop signs, the bee, the bee check flags. Um, I think the signs are $12 for the first sign, $10 for each sign after that, and the flags are somewhere in that same, same area. So you can actually put these signs on your specialty crop that, that people can see those. Um, but you have to be logged in or be able to log in to DriftWatch to be able to order your signs. Um, again, this, this system is, is, is voluntary. It's not mandatory um, for people to sign up their crops. But for those of you that are applicators and you're, you're looking at your label and your label says you have to check surrounding crops, um, this is a great way to, to to check those surrounding fields to see what crops are out there. It may not be 100% complete, so it may not remove you completely from having to check with some of your neighbors and things like that to make sure you're doing what you need to do to follow label directions and, and understanding what crops surround you. But it's a great place to start. And if you print this off and put it in your label or in your file for your application records and the state chemist happens to knock on your door, you've shown due diligence to do what you're supposed to do to check for those specialty crops. So John, that's all I have. Dave, I wanna thank you so much and I'm sure everyone who's ready to